I'm HDIX subject matter expert Joel Hewitt, and today we're talking about how DoD is using advanced algorithms mimicked on the human brain to support the warfighter in the field. These are known as neural networks. An artificial neural network is a high-performance computing system designed to process information similar to how an individual neuron does. Each node, or cell, receives data from multiple other nodes, like the dendrites of a neuron, and exports data through a single output, just like the neuron's axon. However, unlike the brain, the constituent nodes of an artificial neural network are layered and structured in how they process data. In the near term, DoD is most likely to apply neural networks to systems and capabilities already in use. For example, bolstering the efficiency and accuracy of data mining operations. University of Tennessee Associate Professor Garrett Rose explains what aspects of neural networks are most interesting to his group, the TIN Lab. Neuromorphic computing, uh, also sometimes called neural networks, it can mean brain-inspired systems or brain-inspired computing. Uh, so in our case, we're in some ways mimicking the brain, uh, but mostly we just want to learn from what we know about the brain to build systems that do some things well. Uh, so classification comes to mind, some control applications. There are certain things that neural networks, biological neural networks, are pretty good at. Uh, we would like to bring some of that capability to our, our artificial computing systems. So that's what we're developing. We're developing that with nanoelectronic systems, specifically memristors or memory resistors. And we are fabricating those here at Tennessee. So our work is primarily funded by the Air Force uh, Research Laboratory. Um, Information Directorate in Rome, New York. And one of the things that they're interested in is building circuits and systems with memristors or memory resistors, which are solid state electronic devices that behave like uh, switches with memory. Uh, we, we sometimes say a hysteretic switch with memory. All that means is that it's going to be non-volatile. So if we change its state, it'll hold that state until we change it again. Um, so it's, it's like changing the strength of a connection between two nodes. For neural networks, this is actually uh, very useful in that a neural network is comprised mainly of neurons and synapses. The neurons are essentially determining whether or not uh, to spike or fire, so it's making a decision on uh, propagating information. But the synapse is determining the strength between those connections or connecting uh, neurons. And that's exactly what a memristor does. So with this simple two-terminal electronic device, we have an artificial synapse. The self-learning capability of neural networks has already shown great promise for use in defense applications, particularly in the area of threat identification. TIN Lab professor James Plank explains how neuromorphic computing can detect change over time. Considering applications for our research and for the um, devices that we do research on, um, we envision a couple places that are important to defense. One is doing navigation and control of devices in the field. Uh, a second one concerns critical infrastructure protection, where our devices would be performing analyses on time series data, for example, to do intrusion detection or any detection of events that are anomalous. One good example of a neural network identifying anomalies comes from October 2017. A research team at the University of Missouri used Deep Convolutional Neural Networks, or DCNN, to dramatically improve the speed with which intelligence and military imagery analysts could identify Chinese surface-to-air missile sites during a visual broad area search. By auto-selecting potential candidate sites and prioritizing them for human review, the DCNN helped the analysts conduct an equivalent search 81 times quicker than when they had used traditional computer-assisted methods, while delivering results just as accurate. Now let's talk a little bit about DOD-managed projects employing neural networks. In April 2017, DOD established the Algorithmic Warfare Cross-Functional Team to continue work on an effort known as Project MAVEN. According to Air Force Lieutenant General Jack Shanahan, Project MAVEN is designed to be the spark that kindles the flame front of artificial intelligence across the rest of the DoD. 
Project MAVEN seeks to advance the capability of neural networks to extract images of identifiable target objects from video. The tactical and medium altitude video sensors of the Scan Eagle, the MQ1C, and the MQ9 produce imagery similar to that of Google Earth. A single drone with these sensors produces many terabytes of data every day. Dr. Rose continues. Uh, with these types of networks we're considering, because they are useful for classifying not only spatial information but spatiotemporal, we can get some information quickly on the drone itself, on the device, with a very small low power platform that says, well, there's something moving that you should pay attention to. And so that limits how much information has to be transmitted forward to, to a base of operation. Uh, so in a lot of ways, we can, we can reduce the energy footprint, not just on the neuromorphic platform, but also in the energy required for transmitting a large bulk of data uh, to the base of operation and other applications. Ten Labs' Dr. Mark Dean explains how neural network-enabled sensors can aid the warfighter on-site in a combat scenario. So uh, one of the applications that we've talked about is support of the soldier in the battlefield. And to do that, you might imagine a soldier having, say, a helmet or a heads-up display or a pair of goggles, let's say, with, with an overlay of information that will help them make decisions in real time. And because the battlefield is changing all the time, you'd like a system that would be adaptive and would learn to, uh, and adapt to those changes and create a set of information that would be popping up for the soldier based on what the soldier needs at that immediate moment. If things are being attacked or enemies moving in a particular direction, you'd like the soldier to know, not just know that's happening, but get information that would help them make decisions on what they should do going forward. And a neuromorphic system has that ability to learn over time, learn from history, and then adapt according to what's going on in real time. And being able to build that in the small so that the soldier could actually wear this, these goggles or this helmet and not overweight them with computing and things like that would be key to, to success. And the fact is we are, be, we are able to build these neural networks and have these systems actually be on the soldier and not weigh them down with a lot of electronics. It's going to be a, be a game changer, I think, for uh, soldiers in the field. Graduate researcher Parker Mitchell next demonstrates Tin Labs' Neon robot a piece of hardware built around a neural network. Neon is a robot which tries to roam around its environment and detect obstacles and explore new spaces. It works with a very limited set of inputs. It looks at five different angles in front of it and at each angle it will measure the distance to the nearest obstacle. And using only this information it can traverse an area and not run into obstacles and gain a coverage of an unknown space. So we trained this on a uh, supercomputer at Oak Ridge National Lab called Titan. And from that training, we developed a neural network that we could load onto an actual robot. And the robot has some neuromorphic hardware which, can, which implements the network and allows the robot to roam the area without any connection to a traditional computer. Solely using a neuromorphic computer, it can determine where objects are and it can determine the path to go forward. In January 2018, a team at Oak Ridge National Laboratory paired artificial intelligence with their Titan supercomputer, the same one used to program NEON, and achieved record speeds for the generation and training of deep learning neural networks. This represents a significant step forward in applying neural networks to data management that is capable of aiding the warfighter. Thanks for watching. Check out hdiac.org and don't forget to follow us on social media.